And now... Oh, no! No! Why didn't anybody tell me? Yes, it's Bong the Gong. This is where I ask Mr. Barbie your quick-fire questions. If he gets any wrong, Miss Chicken will... Bong the Gong! <laughs> your time starts now, Mr. Barker. Dean oh. R. Fraser from Northern Ireland asks, what is the name of a six-sided shape? It's a uh, hexagon. Correct answer. Samantha McKee, also from Northern Ireland, asks, Hello. which king had six wives? Um, Henry the Eighth. Correct oh. answer. Chloe Buckingham from Cambridgeshire says, what is a baby duck called? Oh. Oh, that's a duckling. Correct answer. Stacey McKinstry asks, how many seasons are there? Oh, uh... Four. Correct answer. Oh. Alexander Craig from Sussex asks, what colour is Francie's flag? Oh, uh, the French flag. Oh, that's the French flag. Hmm? It's red, white and blue. Is the <gasps> correct yes. answer? Yes. Oh, Mr. Barker, you scored five out of five. It's yes. a clean sweep. Yes. The chicks will change. Yes. <laughs> and now it's time for... <laughs> Time to ferry out a fact about the corner. Yes. Mr. Rungus. <laughs> Miss Wallace. And the longest things, people, and places in the whole wide world. And this week, it's the largest desert in the world. It's in North Africa, and it's called the Sahara Desert. It's just miles and miles and miles of sand, as far as the eye can see. And it's so enormous that it's three times as big as the Mediterranean Sea. Hello, Mr. Barker. I want to know how you make things really, really spooky. Well, that's a good question, Edward. Spooky, hey? Well, we've sent Paul, our roving rover, up to a haunted house. Yeah. Of course, it's not a real haunted house. Woo! Well, Edward wants to know how to make things spooky. And one way. Paul, why don't you go and find another way? Thank you. I hope you're not frightened of the dark, Paul. Paul? I've got this strange feeling I'm being watched. <laughs> Look at the look in this place. It's just imagination. They always said he was a bit hot-headed. Now everything in this place oh, yeah. is really scary. But in oh, real yeah. life, with the lights up, it isn't. This reminds me of my flat, old and dirty. But the difference here is that the cobwebs and the dust are fake. The dust is actually a kind of dirty talcum powder. <coughs> the cobwebs are made out of nylon, which is stretched and then put in the dust to make it look dirty. Now for the finishing touches, a little bit of dust. And what does a cobweb really need? Little Horace. Funny smell round it. Can you smell that? Hmm. It's sort of old and dusty and damp and musty and uh, seems to be coming from down here. These pots are filled with a special oil, which when it gets hot gives off a strange smell. This isn't smelly vision, but trust me, it smells like your granny's living room. Now then, let's see if all these spooky ideas really frighten people. I quite enjoyed that. It was good fun. I know you're only a man in a mask. Oh, that spooky scary stuff has made my heart beat ten to the dozen. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
Miss Chicken Stew. Is it time for the chicken button? Pardon? Is it time for the chicken button? Yes, it is, thank you. Right, sir, uh, what's the invention this week? The stethoscope. Oh. Let's hit the chicken button. Ooh. I think that button needs looking at. <coughs> oh, sir. My name is Rene Lemay. I am a teacher and expert pathologist. I try to ascertain what causes the expiration of the catapa. I cut up dead people. <laughs> try cutting up live ones. <laughs> well, surgeons do that all the time, but at least they don't put your internal organs into jars. <laughs> well, only the ones you don't need, but strictly speaking... Oh, for goodness sake, get on with it! <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> One day, I was taking a stroll in the park. When I saw some kid around playing on a fallen tree, or rather, what was left of the trunk. <gasps> Pop! <laughs> the children could hear each other quite clearly, even though they were some distance apart. The trunk seemed to be amplifying the noise. This gave me an idea. The following day at my clinic, I took a sheet of road of paper and placed it up against our patient's chest. I can hear their heartbeat quite clearly. Stop that. <laughs> it also happened that I am an expert carpenter. Smart, Alex. And so I made myself a wooden cylinder, or tube. Again, I held the tube to the patient's chest, and I could hear the heartbeat. And so was born the stethoscope. Of course, various changes have been made to the stethoscope over the years, but the basic principle remains exactly the same. So, thanks to the children playing on the log and the good doctor's creative mind, a whole range of heart and lung diseases could be spotted, diagnosed, and treated. Dog! That's the stethoscope, invented by René Lenech. We've got time for one more question. Oh, yes, indeedy doody. Um, Braddy Ware from Dorset wants to know why they call cream crackers cream crackers when there's no cream in them. Well, Bradley, you're quite right. There is no cream in a cream cracker. But a British biscuit maker went to America about a hundred years ago to find out how they made shoulder crackers. A bit like these cream crackers that Miss Chicken is starting down. <laughs> and he found out that they put butter in their crackers to make them taste Creamier. So that's how the crackers got their name. Mm, what a cracking explanation. Oh, that's terrible for. <laughs> uh, just to remind you, uh, Bradley and all our other questionnaires get a t-shirt. Mm, a little bit like this one. Mm, and if you've got a question you'd like answering, here's our address. Dear Mr. Barker. PO Box 1545. <laughs> London W12, 6D for dog, B for biscuit. See you next time. time. Dear Mr. Barker. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah.